Catch the Apple version one by Sir Bull, uh, who says, I made a small game inspired by the good old Game & Watch games. You remember those little LCD screen Game & Watch games from Nintendo? You move the crab, catch the apples. It's as easy as that. Uh, and so let's take a look at it. Let me hide my banner there. Uh, and let's look at the the game itself. So I'm going to expand the simulator here. And again, a little uh, note that the frame rate in your view on this broadcast is not uh, anywhere near as smooth as it is running right, right here in front of me in the browser. So, uh, all right. So I'm going to hit A and now I get to catch apples with a little crab. And I don't know if that's a crab apple pun, but if it is, I love it. Uh, and you'll notice there's some very delightful little graphic, whoops, as the apple splats into the bucket. Ah, it gets very fast. I'm going to miss one. Uh, uh, I'm not going to get there in time. Ah, I better stay in the middle. Uh, so that is the Crab Apple game. And I'll, and I'll go back to the uh, opening screen here for a second, actually. Let me restart the game. Look at this gorgeous intro graphic with this crab. Really beautifully done. He's got this little pot there to catch his apples. Uh, absolutely adorable. Uh, and what I'd uh, recommend is go ahead and have a look at not only some of these beautiful uh, sprites, really uh, evocative, appealing looking sprites with simple animation. Uh, there's some nice uh, secondary animation splashes uh, inside of the, the pots there when the apples are caught. Here is that uh, graphic for the intro, which I'm going to guess was done in a third party um, pixel art software and imported it in, but maybe not. Maybe someone uh, uh, was was painstakingly pixel by pixeling their way through right in this interface, which is super impressive. Um, and have a look at some of these uh, features that, that, that are used in here. I, I found it very useful. It's a pretty big program, so I found it very useful to use the collapse blocks format code. And now I can see uh, it looks a lot simpler like this and uh, find out, okay, there are three forever loops that are running, uh, and these take care of things like the uh, character position, the apple position, and the state of the game, uh, as well as some of the graphic changes that happen. So that is my uh, Make Code Arcade game pick of the week. It is called Catch the Apple. You can go check it out inside of the Make Code forum. Give the author some feedback. It's by Sir Bull, and it is fantastic. So that is my arcade game pick of the week.